before the puzzle hall, I thought I'd give you an update on the 40,000 piece memorable moments puzzle I'm working on. So we have all the characters finished, Peter Pan, Wendy, Michael, and John. I did those first, they were pretty easy. And then I did the film strip along the side and the bottom. That wasn't too bad. Then I started on the building. My plan was do this side first and then over here like I did the 1000 piece. But it ended up being a little harder than I thought it was going to be. So I basically did this part of the building first, then this side, then finished up the top part on this side. I went back over to the left side and finished that up. So now it's time to fill in the rest, all that sky. And here's all the sky pieces, all the dark story. So that's going to take a while, I think. But first, we'll probably do the clouds. These are wider woods, not near as many of them. So we'll do that first, I think. So far, it hasn't been too bad. Building was a little tough for in the supports here. They kind of threw me off a little bit. If you're new to the channel, not only am I doing the memorable moments puzzle, but I'm also doing the 1000 piece versions of each of the scenes for that puzzle. And they're all part of the collector's edition. So I thought, why not get the rest out? Now I'd already had a few of them, so I only had four or five more to get. Let's take a look at them. First we have Pinocchio from 1940. Have Pinocchio here, and Geppetto, and Jiminy Cricket. This one doesn't look like it'll be too hard, but there's a few others that are going to be tough. Like this one, Lady in the Trap. This foreground here doesn't look like it'll be too bad, but this background back here, it's so dark and not a lot going on back there. This will probably be one of the tougher ones to do, I think. So we have Lady in the Tramp in eating their spaghetti. They have some breadsticks in a jar and a wine bottle with a candle in it. But these buildings in the back, those are going to be tough, I think. From 1970, we had the Aristocats. There's a lot going on with this one. I don't think it'll be too hard. Looks like it'll be a really fun puzzle. They're out playing some instruments. Big pink piano here. I really like this light up here. I'm looking forward to doing this one. This one should be a lot of fun. Now let's take a look at Sleeping Beauty from 1959. We have Aurora dancing with Prince Philip. We got a squirrel, an owl, a little bluebird, cardinal. Couple squirrels and a little rabbit watching them dance. Puzzle looks really nice. The only hard part I think might be how the light's coming down through there. All the light blue and the white in the background. But other than that, this would be one of the simpler puzzles, I think. Here we had 1992's Aladdin. We have Aladdin, Jasmine on his magic flying carpet. Couple of birds over here. This one's really nice, bright, and colorful. Shouldn't be too hard. Maybe the moon might give us a little trouble, but at least we have these clouds going through to break it up a little bit. But the blues in the background of the sky, and this down here, maybe the ground over here that might trip us up a little bit, but we'll have to see. Here we have Pocahontas from 1995. This one, I don't know. The artwork just looks a little different. It doesn't quite look as good as the others for being a somewhat newer movie compared to the other ones. We have Pocahontas and John Smith and Miko down here. This one could be a little tougher. It could go either way. The sky is somewhat a gradient, but we have all these deer here, but they're in a gradient too, so that might help. But we have a lot of blue down here in that water, and all these yellow leaves over here might give us some trouble. But we'll have to see. I don't know if I care for the artwork on this one too much. It's almost like a watercolor, but it'll be something different. Now here is probably the hardest puzzle out of all of them. 101 Dalmatians from 1961. And usually in puzzles the background is the hardest part. But I think this one will be the easiest part. Because even the wall in the background at least you have some pictures and the clock over there. And the curtains coming down and the piano. But then the foreground. That's where all of these little Dalmatians are. Just nothing but white with black spots everywhere. I might have to save this one till later. Now we have Alice in Wonderland from 1951. In my opinion, the best animated movie I ever made. So I've done this puzzle already. This was actually the first puzzle video on my channel. I'm thinking about doing it again. I would like to. What I did the first time was just a straight time lapse video. 
I didn't get into my strategy or what worked, what didn't or anything. So I'm thinking about doing it again because it was a fun puzzle to do. Leave me a comment if you'd like to see this one. On the other hand, it's very similar to the next one I'm going to show you. I don't really know if we need to do both of them again. But as you can see, it's pretty close to the Winnie the Pooh puzzle. They're having a, looks like a birthday party for Winnie the Pooh. You have all the characters around, Tigger, Owl, Eeyore. There's Christopher Robin, Piglet. There's a lot going on in this one. Really nice and colorful. Should be a fun puzzle. So this one and the next one, I'm not sure why, but they left out the dates of here. They are part of the collector's edition, but I wonder why they don't have the date that the movies come out on. Now let's take a look at Frozen. See, this one doesn't have the date up here either. But we have Anna and Elsa, Sven, Olaf, and Kristoff over here. I think this one will be on the tougher side too. I'm a little surprised. I would think they'd make Frozen a little easier. Because I know a lot of younger kids are big fan of Frozen. But all this ice on the ground I think is going to be hard. And just the same pattern of these supports I guess they are back here. These light blue lines going up. So I think this one might give us a little bit of trouble when we get to it. But we'll have to see. So this one isn't part of the collector's edition, but I just got it, and I thought you'd like to see it. I think we're going to do this one first before we get started doing the collector's edition puzzles, but I really like this one, and I had to pick it up. We have Minnie and Mickey in the gondola with Goofy driving it, and we have Mickey and Minnie takes a selfie in front of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And here they are driving, it looks like, through the mountains in Italy. The only tough parts, I think, in this one will probably be the sky with the clouds. They're all... Kind of look the same in each of the scenes. And this will definitely be one where we do the border last. It's pretty much the same all the way around. Just a lot of leaves. Looks like grapes hanging down. But we'll take a closer look at this one soon. 